In the heart of England lies a city woven with tales of kings, queens, and timeless traditions, the grandeur of London. This metropolis steeped in history is a fusion of ancient and modern, where centuries old landmarks stand alongside cutting edge architecture. Today, we'll delve into the essence of London, unearthing the top 10 must visit destinations that embody the spirit of this captivating city. From royal palaces to bustling markets, each spot holds a unique allure. So prepare to take a virtual journey through the iconic landmarks of this captivating city. Opening our countdown at number 10, we find ourselves in the vibrant Covent Garden. Tucked away in the heart of London, Covent Garden's charm lies in its rich history and eclectic vibrance. It started life as a humble fruit and vegetable market in the 17th century. The hustle and bustle of traders haggling over fresh produce is a far cry from the Covent Garden we know today, a bustling hub of shopping and entertainment. Covent Garden has transformed, reinventing itself into a must-visit destination. The quaint market has grown into a labyrinth of boutiques, high-end retailers and restaurants. But amidst all the modernity, echoes of the past remain, and none more so than the Royal Opera House. A beacon of culture, it stands as a testament to the area's enduring love for the performing arts. Whether you're a fan of shopping, food or culture, Covent Garden offers a unique London experience. Moving on to number nine, we step into the world of antiquities at the British Museum. A treasure trove of history, the British Museum was established in the mid-18th century, specifically in 1753. It was the first national public museum in the world, free for all studious and curious persons. This historical landmark is home to a plethora of world art and artifacts that are nothing short of extraordinary. Its vast collection spans over two million years of history, showcasing the works of mankind from the dawn of human history to the present day. Among the museum's most renowned artifacts, one cannot miss the Rosetta Stone. Found in 1799, this stone was the key to deciphering Egyptian hieroglyphs unlocking a previously inaccessible world of ancient Egyptian history. And speaking of Egypt, the museum also houses an extensive collection of Egyptian mummies, offering a fascinating glimpse into the rituals and beliefs of ancient Egyptian culture. These mummies, resting in their ornate sarcophagi, provide a tangible connection to a civilization that existed thousands of years ago. The British Museum is truly a global institution, dedicated to preserving and interpreting human history and culture. It's a place where you can travel the world without ever stepping foot outside. From the ancient ruins of Greece to the mystical artifacts of the Orient, the British Museum takes you on a journey like no other. A visit to the British Museum is a journey through the world's history and culture. Our eighth stop takes us to an iconic symbol of London, the Tower Bridge. This marvel of Victorian engineering has been standing over the River Thames since the late 19th century. Its distinctive Gothic design is a tribute to the architectural style prevalent during the reign of Queen Victoria. The Tower Bridge was not merely built for its aesthetic appeal. In fact, it was born out of necessity to ease road traffic while preserving the river access to the busy London docks. With its unique bascule and suspension design, it allows ships to pass underneath by lifting its roadways, a sight that continues to fascinate onlookers to this day. This grand structure isn't just for show either. It holds a significant role as a major London landmark, connecting the Tower of London on the North Bank with the Southwark District on the South. The Tower Bridge stands as a testament to London's architectural prowess and historical resilience. At number seven, we soar into the skies with the Shard, a towering testament to human innovation. The Shard stands as the tallest building in Western Europe. With a height of over 300 meters, it pierces the London skyline. Its unique architectural design, a beacon of modernity amidst the city's rich history. Designed by renowned Italian architect Renzo Piano, the Shard's 95 stories are encased in a gleaming glass facade that reflects the ever-changing sky earning it the name, the Shard of Glass. But it's not just the exterior that's impressive. The Shard offers a journey skyward, with each floor unveiling a new perspective of London. Ascend to the viewing gallery and open-air observation deck on the 72nd floor, and you're presented with a panoramic view of the city that stretches up to 40 miles on a clear day. From the winding River Thames to the iconic London landmarks, 
the Shard offers a breathtaking perspective of London that is truly unmatched. Our countdown continues with the royal residence of Buckingham Palace at number six. Standing as a symbol of regality, this grand edifice has been the official London residence of the UK's sovereign since 1837, when Queen Victoria ascended to the throne. Over the centuries, it has become more than just a home. It's a stage for pomp and ceremony, the backdrop to national celebrations and crises. Imagine this, the changing of the guard ceremony, a tradition that dates back to 1660. The Queen's Guard, dressed in iconic red uniforms and bearskin hats, marched to the rhythm of a military band, a spectacle of precision and discipline that draws crowds from around the globe. This ceremony is a living, marching, musical slice of British history, and it all happens right at the palace gates. The palace is not just a ceremonial site, it's also a bustling administrative hub. It's here where the Queen carries out her official duties, meeting with ambassadors, politicians and dignitaries from across the world. The decisions made within these walls hold significance not only for the British people, but for the world at large. Buckingham Palace, with its 775 rooms, including 19 staterooms, 52 royal and guest bedrooms, and 78 bathrooms, is an architectural marvel. Its grandeur and charm narrate the tale of Britain's history, making it a must-visit for those seeking to understand the narrative of this great city. Buckingham Palace is the beating heart of the British monarchy, a must-visit to truly understand the regality of London. Halfway through our list, at number five, we have the mesmerizing London Eye. An iconic part of the city's skyline, this architectural marvel was erected as part of the Millennium Celebrations, a symbol of modernity and innovation. Its construction was no small feat, a testament to human engineering and creativity, and upon its completion, it proudly stood as Europe's tallest Ferris wheel. But the London Eye is more than just an impressive structure, it's a window to the city's soul. As you ascend in one of its 32 pods, London unfurls beneath you, revealing a stunning panorama of iconic landmarks and hidden gems. From the Gothic spires of Westminster Abbey to the gleaming Shard, the cityscape is laid bare, allowing you to experience London from a fresh, breathtaking perspective. The London Eye offers a unique bird's eye view of the city, making it an unforgettable part of any London trip. At number four, we escape to the natural oasis of Hyde Park. This verdant haven in the heart of London has a rich and fascinating history. Originally acquired by Henry VIII in 1536 as a private hunting ground, it wasn't until the reign of Charles I in the 17th century that the park opened its gates to the general public. As we stroll through the park, we encounter the famous Speaker's Corner. Since the mid-19th century, this spot has been a bastion of free speech, where anyone can stand up and speak their mind on any topic, a tradition that continues to this day. And who could ignore the Serpentine Lake, a jewel in the park's crown? This man-made lake is a favorite for boaters and swimmers alike, offering a unique way to appreciate the park's natural beauty. Hyde Park is London's green heart, a tranquil escape from the bustling city. Taking the third spot on our list is the historic and haunting Tower of London. This imposing fortress, steeped in centuries of history, has served many purposes since its construction nearly a thousand years ago. Originally built by William the Conqueror in the late 11th century, the Tower of London has been a symbol of royal power and authority. It has served as a royal palace, offering luxurious accommodations for visiting nobility and royalty. With its formidable stone walls and strategic location on the banks of the River Thames, it was designed to protect and project the might of the English monarchy. But the tower's history isn't all regal pomp and circumstance. It's also been a prison housing some of the most famous prisoners in English history. From Anne Boleyn, the second wife of King Henry VIII, to the notorious gangster twins, the Cray brothers, the tower has a chilling history of incarceration and execution. And let's not forget its role as a treasury. Today, the Tower of London is home to the Crown Jewels, a collection of more than 23,000 gemstones that are still used in royal ceremonies. Despite its infamous reputation, the Tower of London remains one of the city's most popular tourist attractions, an enduring symbol of London's rich and turbulent history. It's a place where the past seems to seep from the very stones where history isn't just remembered, it's felt. 
The Tower of London is a place where history comes alive, a stronghold that has stood the test of time. Our runner-up is none other than the iconic Houses of Parliament and Big Ben. Gracing the banks of the River Thames, the Houses of Parliament and Big Ben are an integral part of London's identity. But did you know, their history is as captivating as their majestic architecture. The current structure, officially known as the Palace of Westminster, is a neo-Gothic marvel that replaced the original palace after a devastating fire in the 19th century. Big Ben, the world's most famous clock tower, was added to the Houses of Parliament in 1859. Contrary to common belief, Big Ben is not the tower itself, but the nickname for the great bell housed within. With its distinctive chimes echoing across London, Big Ben has become a symbol of the city's indomitable spirit. And it's not just about the grandeur. The Houses of Parliament are the beating heart of British politics, where lawmakers convene to shape the future of the nation. It has witnessed debates and decisions that have not only influenced the United Kingdom, but also the wider world. These iconic structures are much more than just beautiful landmarks. They embody the democratic ideals that Britain holds dear. From the ornate halls of the Parliament to the rhythmic ticking of Big Ben, they echo the values of debate, discussion and deliberation that are fundamental to a functioning democracy. The Houses of Parliament and Big Ben are not just symbols of London, but of democracy itself. And finally, at number one, we have an unexpected yet quintessential part of London, the London Underground. It's not just a transit system, but a remarkable testament to the city's history, culture and resilience. Built in 1863, the London Underground, affectionately known as the Tube, was the world's first underground railway. It has since grown into an intricate network of 270 stations, becoming the backbone of the city, helping shape London into the bustling metropolis we know today. It's hard to imagine London without the Tube. Millions of people rely on it every day, from city dwellers rushing to work, to tourists exploring the city's countless wonders. It's a place where people from all walks of life cross paths, a microcosm of the city itself. The London Underground is not just about transportation. It has also left an indelible mark on popular culture. The iconic Mind the Gap announcement, a friendly reminder to passengers to avoid the space between the train and the platform, has become a symbol of the city. It has been immortalized in countless films, television shows and songs, becoming as much a part of London's identity as Big Ben or the River Thames. Moreover, the Tube has been a muse for artists, its labyrinthine tunnels and bustling platforms inspiring countless works of art. The London Transport Museum even houses an impressive collection of art and design related to the underground, from vintage posters to modern installations. The underground's history is also deeply woven into the fabric of the city. During the Second World War, the Tube's deep-level tunnels provided shelter for Londoners during air raids, a testament to the city's resilience and the Underground's integral role in its history. The London Underground is more than a transportation system. It's the pulsing veins of the city making it our top must-visit spot in London. And there you have it, our top 10 must-visit places in London. From the bustling Covent Garden to the iconic British Museum, the majestic Tower Bridge, the soaring Shard, the regal Buckingham Palace, the eye-catching London Eye, the serene Hyde Park, the historic Tower of London, to the emblematic Houses of Parliament and Big Ben. And let's not forget the ever-present London Underground. From royal palaces to modern marvels, each of these places tells a story that contributes to the rich tapestry of London. Thank you for joining this journey, and until next time, keep exploring.